Okay, so a while back I got a question on how to build a 2.5 inch micro for as cheaply as possible, for you know, basically a 2.5 inch uh, micro budget build. Did a lot of digging on various stacks, parts, motors that you can get, and I really found out that the diatone parts here are going to be the cheapest possible. And uh, actually, getting this combination here in the, this is the 239 in the plastic frame, uh, it comes in at $109 is the cheapest you can find all these parts with the motors the stack and the camera and video transmitter all together um, if i'm incorrect about this let me know in the comments below if you found a way to get all these parts here for less than 109 dollars so obviously this is not a two and a half inch micro it has to be converted so i'm going to transplant these parts into this frame here this is the um, alpha rc uh, ahx115 frame it's like 10 bucks, 9.99 I believe, or nine dollars, something like that, somewhere nine or ten dollars. Pretty cheap. Three millimeter bottom plate and two millimeter top plate, so pretty basic two and a half inch frame. So I'm going to transplant these parts over to here, which will bring the total cost to 119 dollars. Now you could get the um, uh, R249 Plus version of this with the carbon frame, which already has a two and a half inch prop frame. Uh, with all these same parts here, and that will run $129. So obviously it's $10 more than this setup here, but if you want to obviously scrape the bottom of the barrel and save 10 bucks, then you can go this method here, or just buy the uh, 249 Plus. Um, of course, you can obviously choose a different frame. I'm just, this is the cheapest 2NF inch frame I could find out there at uh, $9, $10. Um, if you guys know of a cheaper frame, by all means, let me know in the comments below, and I'll let people know about that one. But this is the the cheapest one I could find out there. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to move these parts over from here to here, and that should give us a pretty low-cost 200 inch micro. Um, yeah, if you guys can find a pre-built or a set of parts that actually costs less than $119, let me know in the comments below. Um, yeah, obviously there's going to be a lot of people saying that they could, they know of a, you know, cheaper way you'll see lots of comments down there but of course they're not going to be very specific about that so yeah i would just disregard those comments because they think that they know things things but they actually don't because they don't know they're actually checking prices like i am uh, anyway go ahead and i'll transfer the stuff over here let's take a look at what this looks like and then i'll go and fly it okay so i moved all the uh, parts over from the other frame to the new one here and actually didn't have to desolder anything so it only took about 15 minutes i did move these motor wires which were looped around uh, the this little standoff here on the shorter two inch prop. Now it, uh, the longer arms I need to move them out this way so instead of looping them around I just have them coming out straight and I didn't have to desolder them and I actually didn't desolder anything just moved everything over. Pretty tight fit here in the front. About the maximum angle I can get there. You can see that's with the, the video transmitter on, on the back there. Uh, I may reconsider and move that video transmitter up to the top here and move the uh, receiver back further, possibly. You can see the antenna just kind of sticks out the top here like this. Not so great for reception if you're coming in from behind here. Um, yeah, could block the signal a little bit, but yeah, this should get this in the air. We'll see how this flies on the 2.5 inch prop from Gemfan, the 2540. Should have a lot more power on these... Uh, these are what these 1105 motors 1105 5500 kV so it should be pretty similar to the way the I think the R249 plus flies that's obviously with a different frame and canopy and everything but yeah, this is a pretty solid frame three millimeter thick bottom plate so it should be pretty solid and nice and uh, durable in terms of crashing and everything well, I guess we'll find out when we go fly so let's go and take a look at how this thing flies